Game front. Uh, uh, update. Game front. Update. Game front update. update. James, you were awful at starting that up. Next time, we we need to remember who starts it off and who does the uh 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 uhs. I just love hearing you go. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> well, anyway, game front update time. James, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I, you know, honestly, we don't really have that much to talk about. There's a couple of articles out there that neither of us are that familiar with. Me personally. Oh, wait, let me tell you what happened last night. I did one hell of an amazing improv show, and then oh, yeah? Damon Wayne's hit the supply? stage. It was Bear Supply, and then Damon Wayne's hit the stage and killed it. Oh, damn it! Do you like Damon oh, Wayne's? Getting, getting upstage by Damon. I, I know Damon Wayne's. He's uh the more talented of the Wayne's brothers. I you know what? At myself personally, I grew up watching Saturday Night Live, laughing, Kids in the Hall. Kids in the Hall is actually going to roll into In Living Color. But mm -hmm. Monty Python, Saturday Night Live were always things that like my grandfather got me into. But Kids in the Hall and In Living Color, those were my shows, and they inspired me to do comedy. Yeah. Who was in In Living Color? In Living Color? Well, yeah. it had Damon Wayans. It had oh, Keenan, okay. Keenan Ivory Wayans. It had Jim Carrey. It had uh, Jennifer Lopez. It had a lot of people that you would know. My favorite thing from Damon Wayans is major pain. Yeah, uh, here's the thing. I don't want to make this the Damon Wayans update, but he has been there more days than he has not been there in the past mm -hmm. two weeks. He just comes all the time and does stuff. And oh, I wasn't wow. there for this, but last week apparently he got up on stage and he just did major pain for like 20 minutes straight. Oh, like, God, just I wish like I was there. <laughs> and apparently he ended when he could no longer keep his character and he just started busting up laughing. Uh, so I don't know what he's doing at the theater all the time, but he is a really awesome, nice guy. That's super cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, in the world of video games, to bring this back to what the Game Front Update is all about, um, you know, there, like you said, there are a couple of things. There's the uh, the whole candy. Hey, crush. hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mitch. There it is. We're back. There it is. Hey, look at that! I figured it out. Troubleshooting. Man. This Google Hangout's a major pain. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Segue. Uh, well, not really a segue, but reference to an earlier joke. Yeah, let's get back to it. What were you saying? Let's get back. I was bullshitting. There's stuff going on in the gaming world. Nintendo is failing. Uh, what are the, they failing at? Because I heard they, somebody they, talk they posted, about. They posted like their worst, uh, their worst financial year since like the week. A long out. time. A long time. Uh, and people are kind of like clamoring for the resignation of Satoru Iwata, and Iwata say saying he's not gonna. Iwata was saying that he's not gonna step down, and uh, yeah, it's it's Nintendo's in a rough spot. They need to do some major shakeups if they want to still be relevant in the next five to ten years. They need to stop releasing yesterday's consoles today. That's uh, a. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. It's a good criticism. Uh, I, I like the Wii U. I think the Wii U has a lot of potential. I don't think it needs to have the same graphical power as the the Xbox One and PS4 because I don't think there needs to be three uh, consoles that all have the same you know level of power. I I, I mean it's it seems like a waste of money uh, to have to buy you know exclusives that are all on this give the same kind of experience on three different consoles. I like. I like that Nintendo is able to offer unique experiences, yeah, but, but no, go ahead. Can't they? Re Here's the thing: what you're saying, I, if I were Nintendo, I would go the way of Sega. Still make these amazing quality games because there's no joke. I mean, they make some great games, but they don't. Their machines are not that good. I don't need another machine to go and buy. But just put it because the PS3 is a great machine, and I'd say it's about about as good as the Wii U. Uh, so why not, instead of having a Wii U, just make it so that they publish their games on PlayStation and Xbox, and I think that that could change everything. I think, I think it's, they'd go back in the green, you know? I think there's an aspect to it that's, uh, that's rude and pride. Uh, I, don't, I don't think Nintendo wants to duck out of this uh, hardware race when they kind of, you know, they, their name was synonymous with video games back in the 90s. Like, if you if you had a video game, you'd say, I'm going to play it on my, on my Nintendo, 
instead of like saying I'm gonna play it on my SNES or you know NES, you'd say I'm gonna play it on my Nintendo. You Your would you would, would go like, further. Oh, they get you Nintendo even even though they they got you a Sega. Yeah, <laughs> so you wouldn't Genesis. say I'm gonna go play on my Nintendo. You'd just say I'm playing Nintendo, no matter what. Right. Even if you're playing a PC game, a, well, I don't know. But what right, I'm but saying though is like it is time to to stop with their their systems, Mitch. They have failed every time they've released a system. The game that's not true. The GameCube yeah. wasn't wasn't a failure. I don't think it was. If you think of it like money wise. No, well, I, I don't think so. I think you're you're exaggerating. I don't, th- and the Wii certainly was not a failure. The Wii was a failure, maybe in terms of you know quality games or a a, a mass amount of quality games. The Wii had some some great titles: Super Mario Galaxy, Metroid Prime Three, uh, lots of other titles. But it, it, you know, if you compare the amount of good games on the Wii to the amount of good games on the you know PS3 or or even the PS2. Uh, I mean, you're you're gonna be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, it's like, why don't they start releasing their games? Like, I think Sega made a really good choice. They couldn't compete anymore. They they had messed up too no, many times. No, damn it! The Dreamcast was amazing. It, and I mean, I had a tragedy in the world of gaming that the Dreamcast had to uh, had to die. Uh, Nine nine ninety nine, baby. <laughs> yeah, I, I liked the Dreamcast. I also liked. I was a huge fan of the 32X. You know, that was really smart. The no, 32X? I'm, do you remember the 32X? I remember the 32X. I think you're lying. I don't, yeah, I don't I think am you lying. were actually. Okay. <laughs> I am lying. I, I, was, I remember being super disappointed with uh, the 32X. Uh, I never owned it, luckily. But it was a pathetic machine. I feel like those words have never been spoken by human human mouths. I was very disappointed by the 32X. <laughs> I had high expectations. <laughs> <laughs> I had high expectations. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. I like Nintendo games a lot, but I will never buy another Nintendo console, period. Unless they come out with a console that's better than the consoles around it. That's uh, a shame. But I, would, I, I, I like... I like Nintendo. I, I like I like what they're doing, but I just don't think it's a viable strategy. I don't think uh, I think the, the average gamer does not uh, look at the the Wii U and think, "Oh, look, unique experiences I can only have on you know a Nintendo console, or I I get to play Mario and Link and all these other awesome Nintendo games." I think they they look at the Wii U and they see inferior power, inferior you know games. A small variety of a small like collection of games, and uh, it's I, unless something drastic changes, I, I I don't think that the Wii U has uh, has legs to survive very much longer. That's my dismal outlook, unfortunately. Uh, but I still do love the Wii U. Now I don't love the Wii U, but I like I I would if they put the Mario games on PlayStation One, Xbox. I mean, sorry, PlayStation th- Four, whatever. If they put it in a way I could buy it on my PC, I would buy every Nintendo game that was good. And um, which is all of them, pretty much. Now I mean I don't know I don't play all of them because I don't have a Wii U. But if they would start publishing their games and other stuff, I'd pick it up. But they cannot win me over with their consoles. Their their tablet thing, great idea. Now I can use, uh, when I'm playing Dead Rising, I can use my tablet that I have. Do you not associ- I have, several times. Not all yeah? the time. I yeah. thought it was a gimmick, and I did it once, and I was like, screw this. It takes my attention away from the game. What You have a tablet? Well, no, but I have a smartphone, and it has, it has the same functionality. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it's a little different with the tablet because it's, it's oh, bigger. Oh, right, because it's bigger. <laughs> I mean, it... <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's bigger than a phone, and you can see the map better. And it also works for Battlefield. I mean, in my mind, anything that Nintendo can do with their little Wii U tablet, uh, uh, Xbox and PlayStation can do with their with their tablet uh, apps. I don't think so. I think the uh, the the convenience of having both the tablet and the controller on the same device is uh, is much better than having to. Pick up your your iPhone, still hold on to the controller, and like look at it, and it's I, I don't like it. I don't like it. What they need to do is they need to create like a Pip Boy, so that you can just put your tablet on your arm. So when you're playing games, you can just look at your forearm. Oh, it would be on the forearm. You just look at your That's forearm. That's a great right idea. There. You should right? take that to Shark Tank. Oh, we can't. We you know what? We can't. We can't let this game front air. That's the most brilliant idea I've ever had. Someone's gonna patent that, and they're gonna say, ha. You can't use it anymore, James. 
Ah, oh, dang it. So, uh, we were worried that we wouldn't have enough to talk about, but we've already gone over ten minutes. Mitch, what was the other topic? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you're, you're done with Battlefield. Well done. Yeah. Are you Thank proud you. of yourself? Yeah, I got a lot of gold medals on it, too. I have pretty good at ah, the game. I'm, like, really pretty good at good. the game. Yeah, uh, nice. I'm picking up Rise now. Yeah, that's the the game that I, I let you borrow for like uh, maybe two or three months ago, and you still haven't played it. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, about I was, it. Yeah, I'm well, I wanted excited. to wrap up. I don't want to. I don't want to have so many open ended walkthroughs. I just want to finish them. I mean, yeah. I know I can't always finish them, but I'd like to start finishing more than I don't. Yeah, um, I, I've slowed down on Condemned, and people are probably gonna call me, uh, you know, names for not finishing my walkthroughs. Tr- uh, truth of the mac- matter is. Uh, I don't really like that game. It's it's not because it's too scary. It's because I find it to be kind of boring, and uh, I'm doing my best to to push through it despite uh, not really enjoying the experience. But uh, I think I'm I'm more than halfway done, so I'll, I'll hopefully get around to finishing that sometime before the uh, the game season picks up. Cool. Cool. So I guess that's it. I guess that's, that's it. it. So, uh, right. sorry for the short one this week, guys, but this time Mitch has something to do. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing, or do you not want to say? Oh, uh, well, there's a show on at 8 o'clock, and, you know, I wanted to cook dinner and just be ready to, to watch it. And, That's not true. Yeah. No, I, I have I have a, a Walla session, which is a, uh, it's a funny name for background voices in, in anime. <laughs> so... Uh. I'm do, I'm and you have a famous those. instructor, don't you? Are you allowed to talk about him or no? Oh, well, that's different. That's uh, that's uh, voice acting classes that I'm having. I'm I'm getting instructed by the brilliant uh, Richard Horvitz, who does such amazing characters as Invader Zim, uh, Daggett from Angry Beavers, Professor Chaos from Skylanders, and many oh Billy from Billy and Mandy, and uh, many many others. He's a uh, he's amazing. And That's pretty awesome. You are, are busting really cool. your ass, buddy. Thank you. That's pretty cool. I'm busting uh, so, my wallet, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. Those things are not cheap. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.